Hello everyone and welcome to the Battle for Azeroth Beta. Today I am doing the Arms Warrior Specialization and it is described as a battle hardened master of weapons using mobility and overpowering attacks to strike his or her opponents down using a single two handed weapon of any type. So of course this menu here shows the kind of core abilities that are involved in this specialization starting off with Mortal Strike. It is kind of your main ability on a short cooldown that does good damage and reduces the effectiveness of healing on your enemy targets. And then you have Overpower, which does a good amount of damage as well. It can't be blocked, dodged, or parried. And increases the damage of your next Mortal Strike by 20%, stacking up to two times. Now it's probably best to use this ability before you use your Mortal Strike ability. So you can go ahead and gain the benefits of that 20% damage buff. We have Sweeping Strikes, which basically allows your single target abilities to hit an additional target for 60% of the damage. So pretty good AOE ability there, even though it only hit, helps you hit one more extra target, but still pretty good. Then you have Die by the Sword, which is your defensive cooldown, increases your parry chance by 100%. And reduces damage you take by 30% for 8 seconds, allowing you to get away, maybe survive just in time. Colossus Smash is probably your best ability. It does a significant amount of damage and increases the damage you deal to them by 30% for 10 seconds. The only thing is it's on a pretty long cooldown so it can't be used in every encounter. Then Blade Storm, very powerful AoE ability, basically makes you an unstoppable force of blades in a storm like fashion. So now going over kind of the other abilities in the rotation of the arms warrior, as you can see here, I have charge at my number one ability. You charge into combat, deal some damage, generate rage. Your war breaker, which is a talent point, is basically just Colossus Smash, but it does AoE damage. So it's an AoE Colossus Smash. Pretty exciting, so I want to test that out, see how it performs. And then we also have Mortal Strike, of course. We have our Overpower ability, our Slam, which basically is like a rage dump. You just spam this ability when you have no other ability to do, and it does a good amount of damage as well. So you just go ahead and use that whenever you need to, really, until you see a proc. Then Ravager, which is a talent point that replaces Blade Storm, essentially the same thing, except you throw a weapon on the ground and it will basically be its own blade storm, allowing you to do your own damage. You have your sweeping strike. Of course, as you know, you hit an additional target. Hamstring reduces the movement speed of your enemy. Die by the sword, your defensive cooldown, your berserker's rage, making you immune to fear, sap, and effects like that. Then we have our shout, our battle shout, as you'll see here. Gives you 10% attack power for your whole raid or group party. Avatar, which is a talent point, 20% damage buff. Rallying Cry gives you more health. Defensive and Pummel is your spell cast interrupt. Whirlwind is your AoE ability that requires 30 rage. Victory Rush heals you up for 20% of your health after you defeat a target and you use it on a different target. And then we have Execute, which attempts to finish off your enemy for a good amount of damage. Sometimes it does the 3000 and sometimes it kind of misses in the sense that it only does like 800 damage you'll see that in combat in just a little bit when i do the field test to see how this class performs and of course we also have the next ability heroic leap literally you just pick a spot on the ground and your character will leap there in a heroic fashion so here we are in the talent points for the level 15 talents here the war machine basically helps you generate some rage Makes your auto attacks generate 10% more rage and increases your movement speed. Sudden death makes your execute more available with procs and skull splitter. Does some good damage and generates 20 rage. You know, just to generate rage and do more damage. Level 30, kind of a mixed bag. Your charge gains an extra charge, so you have two charges of charge. Impending victory is a better victory rush. Stormbolt is a ranged stun ability. Level 45, we have Massacre, makes your Execute available on 35% or below, up from 20%. Fervor of Battle, Whirlwind deals 10% increased damage and slams your primary target, 
and Ren does bleed damage over time. So again, level 45 to increase your damage, while level 60 is more focused on defensive abilities, like second win, restore 6% of your health every second when you haven't been damaged for 5 seconds. So you kind of heroic leap or just run away, and you can just start to heal up, or just in and out of combat. Then bounding stride makes your heroic leap more readily available and increases your run speed. And defensive stance, a straight up defensive cooldown ability to help you survive, of course. The whole level 60 talents are about. Level 75 right here is kind of a focus on AoE. Like this one makes your sweeping strikes refund 20% of the rage after you hit your second target. And then we have Warbreaker. Like I said, it replaces Colossal Smash in the sense that it's an AoE Colossus Smash. Pretty good ability. I'm going to test it out for sure. And Cleave is a pretty weak AoE ability that can inflict deep wounds, which is your mastery. Uh, level 90 talents. And for the kill, of course, this just increases your damage. Colossus Mask gives you more haste, so you can attack quicker. Avatar is a straight up 20% damage buff. Makes you pretty powerful and gives you 20 rage. Deadly Calm basically makes all your abilities free. They cost no rage for 6 seconds, so you can use all the abilities you want at no cost of rage. And of course, level 100 Again, is to increase how much damage you can do. Anger management. Every 20 rage you spend reduces the cooldown of your Colossus Smash and Blade Storm, which is good because those abilities are kind of on a long cooldown, especially in regular combat. Dreadnought Overpower has two charges and increases the damage of your next mortar strike by an additional 10%. And then Ravager replaces Blade Storm, essentially the same thing, except you throw it on the ground. The weapon does damage on itself, and you can continue to do your own damage. So now out here in the field, of course you open up with your charge ability. I use my Warbreaker slash Colossus Smash. Your Overpower, your Mortal Strike. And of course you follow your procs as you see there. Have Execute procking a lot. Overpower procs a lot as well. And of course you get Victory Rush after you defeat a target to heal yourself up. But here's a clip of some AoE damage. Go ahead and open up with a Blade Storm. As you see it does a really good amount of damage to everybody. Then I go ahead and pop my sweeping strikes. And I just follow my single target rotation. And you'll see everyone's health go down slowly over time. And of course you use that victory rush to keep yourself maintained up to continue fighting. So again here's another little AoE pool here. You do some blade storm damage. They go down quickly. And yeah just follow your rotation and I just execute and execute until they die. So here is a pretty strong opponent here. Gonna use my avatar ability for that 20% buff. And just go ahead and follow my abilities here. What I had to say about the arms warrior, they do some good damage for sure. But sometimes it seems like you're kind of stuck hitting a brick wall where you're just not doing any damage. It's pretty mixed in the sense that you know, Arms Warrior is a pretty powerful class with a lot of potential. So have to hope that you follow the rotation well enough and your abilities and procs activate consistently enough so you can do some great damage. But yeah, that's pretty much the Arms Warrior. So he executes pretty fun to play with, doing consistent damage here, and take down your targets. But anyways, that's going to be all for this video today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, sub to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.